so excited. Happy holidays. I'm your friendly neighborhood elf. On this week's episode of Living Hope, we feature the Tihati Ohana and why they're the longest running entertainment company here in the islands. I love the Tahitian and I love the Samoan with the fire knife. Oh, Mama Shaw says, no fire in the house. No fire in the house. Unless you're little, little, little Tihati, then you can dance in the house. <laughs> but we can do a little bit of the cowbell. Won't you join us? Aloha and Mele Kaliki Maka. Merry Christmas, Ohana. We have a very special treat for you in this Christmas season. It's true. We're busting with Christmas cheer. Cheer! <laughs> Our guest, the Tihati Productions Ohana. Founders, Papali Itele Tihati Jack Thompson and his wife, Shah Kuupuaala Thompson. We also have the current and succeeding president and vice president, son Afa Tia Thompson and daughter Misty Mokihana Thompson Tufono. You know, Tihati Productions is a global entertainment brand for 52 years and counting. With productions, tours, conventions, a booking agency and performances in Hawaii, nationally and around the world. And that includes command performances for presidents, Reagan, Clinton, and Obama. Wow. With 50 plus shows per week across the state, Tihati has emerged as the largest and longest running entertainment company in Hawaii, as well as the most prolific producers of Polynesian shows in the world. You know, Don, many think that Tihati is just a large, successful entertainment company. But today, you'll hear the heart and foundation of Tihati Productions, their Lord Jesus Christ, who they say planned and plotted it all. Get ready to get blessed. Aloha Ohana. We are here at the Tihati Ohana Hale, such a beautiful home during this Christmas season. And I am here with Papali Itele Tihati Jack Thompson and his wife, Shah Kuupuaala Thompson. They are founders of Tihati Productions Ohana. And before we talk story, we're going to commence with Tihati sharing a few encouraging words in his native tongue. It's an encouraging words for uh, us and giving God the glory and the praise for all that we do and thanking him for today. Amen and amen, especially during this Christmas season, Absolutely. because it's all about the birth of our amen Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But again, it's such a pleasure to be here with Tihati and Shah, as we call them. And, you know, because it's the Christmas season, everybody always loves a great love story, right? Yes. So we're going to start right there with the love story of Tihati and Shah. Who's going who's gonna to take that? We didn't know it was a love story, quite frankly, and it w didn't start off as a life story. I thought that he was too quiet, too charming, too handsome. I thought, how boring. Um, but straight out of Farrington High School, we went on to perform together, and it happened, and here we are 55 years later. I want to even go further back. Living Hope is about good news for challenging times and great, great testimonies. I remember that it all started way back when in Aliamanu mm, on a night that, first home. that night yes. would change mm. the course mm -hmm. of your yourselves and your family. Can you tell us about that, Shaw? People would not understand because I didn't understand it at the time. I was nursing my second baby and I started to cry uncontrollably. I didn't understand that or why, but I knew that this was our first house, old shack, but it was our castle. I mean, when we slammed the door, it fell down, and the <laughs> next day, Jack would be banging it up, uh, putting it up again. Uh, but I didn't know it then, but I know it now, John. That was the prompting of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the minute he came home, I don't know, one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, I said, Jack, we need to find a church. We got a flashlight, packed up our two babies, went shining around Pearl Harbor, ran into a little church on a hill, Pearl Harbor Memorial Christian Church. Today it's known as Island Family Christian Church. Wow. That was 50, 55 years ago. Wow. We know now 
that was a prompting of the Holy Spirit, but for the grace of God, here we are as Amen. believers. You know, in 52 years, I would surmise that you've been through, we've all been through 9-11 where everything yeah. shut down. We've been through strikes where the strikes and no entertainment. We've been through the oil and how, how did you balance your faith and all the craziness of show business, which is crazy. We first knew that no matter what was coming down, if we gave it to the Lord first, that he would carry us through. We knew that without him, what's Tihati Production? What's Jack and Shaw Thompson? And our greatest reward is that we see our children living the kind of life that we felt they could not survive without it. Yeah. It's our faith. We don't walk by, uh, we walk by faith, we don't walk by mm -hmm. sight. I. Mm -hmm. yes. 9-11 almost bankrupt the company. Mm -hmm. Yes. A lot of other companies too. And thank God for us, the hotels still were hanging in there. They cut down to all three, two shows. Mm -hmm. That's nothing. So we had a very difficult time trying to keep our performers. Thank God some of them said, well, stick with you. And they did. We, yeah. Well, yeah. We, we were so unorthodox in the early years. We held Bible studies at the Moana Hotel I between know. shows. Remember that, and John? And I remember that yeah. whether it was a rehearsal <laughs> yeah. or opening of a show yeah. or even in the beginning, Blessing. you always prayed Blessings. before and prayed after. Mm -hmm. And there was always prayer going on amongst the, That's the, the, key. the, the family and the, 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 the cast the and key. the leadership. Right. Like she said, when she um, had that experience mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit touched, she said, we have to thank someone or something mm -hmm. about what's happening with us. I said, we got I, to learn what the someone was. Oh, forgive me, but I was half drunk that night coming home. <laughs> oh. yeah, because, BC days, yeah, BC those, <laughs> days. And I said, I saw what up quickly, I said, you're right, Charles. Don't put some money coming in. We don't know where it's coming. It's coming from. The, yes. The, Amen. Your name, Papali Itele. Tell us what behind that name. Papali Itele is a very high chieftain title that was bestowed upon me by His Highness, His Royal Highness Maliato Tanu Fili, who was the head of state at the time. He has since passed away. I didn't know the, how big this title was, and yeah. we were summoned to Samoa when his wife died. I want to bestow a title upon this young man. We are able to receive the title, Pali Itele. Today, I know the meaning of that title. Papa Li'i title. Papa, the, the rock. Mm -hmm. Li'i, short for Ali'i. Yes. Tele, number one. So what it means, literally, I am the backbone of His Highness. And that's not on, there's several other Pali Itele's, but I'm one of them. And that is because of your heart to serve the people of Samoa, oh, yes. which is also related to what we understand you are the honorary consul for independent Samoa right. to the United Nations. Can you share what that is about? Oh, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I'd like to ask you, Tihati, is you founded South Seas Christian Ministry. Tell us about that mission and that missionary team and what you do. You know, every time I talk about that, I get emotional. You go ahead. <laughs> South Sea Christian Ministry is um, in independent Samoa. We went down and we had Bible studies with different uh, villages, and then we decided that we could do more. We came home, we started raising money, we wanted to make sure that we share uh, our blessings with others. So whatever monies we raised or whatever uh, opportunity we had to go down and perform, we've been doing it for 34 years wow. now, and we still go down. We just supplied them with six uh, water tanks to the most remote villages that are not connected to the city line. They're not connected. So we were able to um, use whatever funds we had to build it, to implement uh, these water tanks there. And we're very grateful to see that, boy, they are so thankful. And yet, you know, God supplies whatever they need. We, we just, they just go through us and use us as vessels. So be, besides taking the word of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. to Samoa, you also fulfill many needs in the community. Yes, yeah, yes. Why was the medical supply? We yes. have medical yes. doctors on our team that go down and they take care of those that need medical attention. And everyone pays their own fare. Nothing, yeah. and nothing is used for money that's raised, every, right. including us. Everybody All pays a fare. Doctors, two attorneys <laughs> to make sure we're doing everything right, and many, many young people from high schools 
uh, take turn going down with us. Well, Philly. you have served this community of Hawaii and Honolulu. Now, you have been on the Hawaii Tourism Authority and you've also been a police commissioner. Can you share the chair, uh, the the chair, chair. of the police commission? <laughs> Can you share about just your, your, your feeling of being called to that and how your faith intertwined with that? When I started serving on boards because we're entertainers, people don't take you seriously. So went back to college, got a degree in judicial administration, and that was my opportunity. That was my chance to say, the Lord gave me the, 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 the strength and the wisdom. And so when I finally got it, I thought, to thine be the glory. And I mean that with my whole heart and soul, serving on everything and anything that they asked me to do. Now I just take care of grandbabies and one great grandbaby. But isn't so, that the best? Our yes. Mo Puna? Right. Oh, <laughs> Papa Nui and Puna uh, Nui. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Well, it has <laughs> been a pleasure and an honor to spend some time with you and talk story on this wonderful day in this beautiful Christmas season. Next, we are going to actually talk to the succeeding leaders of Tihati Productions, their son, Afatia, and their daughter, Misty. We'll be right back to talk more with the Tihati Ohana. Christmas is one of my most favorite times of the year, but if we're honest, this year Christmas is a little different. It's been nearly two years since everything changed, and many of us find ourselves full of worry and despair, others full of heartbreak and anxiety. This year, celebrate a different kind of Christmas, not one of sadness or stress, but one filled with exuberant joy, exhilarating hope and overwhelming peace. Find the joy of Christmas, not in a tinsel wrapped gift, but rather in spending time with the ones you love. Find it in caring for those in need. Find it in the form of a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, sent to bring peace and hope just for you. This year, choose to experience Christmas like you've never experienced before. And when you do, you'll find that even today, hope is alive. For more information, visit enewhope.org. Welcome back to Living Hope. I'm here with my co-host, Don O'Brien, and we have the privilege of being here with succeeding leaders of Tihati Productions Ohana, President Afatia Thompson and Vice President Misty Mohihana Thompson Tufono. Welcome. <laughs> wow. Merry Christmas. Aloha mai. Now, you both were born into the greatest entertainment business in the state of Hawaii. That's got to be different than the typical family. What was it like growing up that way? I don't know that we knew any better. It was a lot of time straight from school to Waikiki and homework in the dressing room and dinner at the buffet with the tourists and <laughs> oh, <laughs> late nice. night rehearsals and uh, falling asleep under the eight top. But we grew up with a real, uh, a very real value and love and respect for Hawaii entertainers and artists. Wow. So, what about you, Afa? Any special memories? Did you make Misty go run for food for anything? No, no. We, we, well, we were the food runners. Yeah. Yeah, for, <laughs> for Uncle Joe Recca and Uncle Sam right. Bernard. Right. Polynesian between, style. In between shows to the international marketplace, uh, Fatty's uh, pork noodle soup. Oh. So, yeah, we were the, the young runners. But we didn't, like Misty said, we didn't know any better. We thought that that was normal, you know, being uh, on stage uh, almost every night, being running up and down Waikiki, Kalakaua Avenue. Um, growing up in the various hotels, the Moana, the Sheraton, Princess Keulani, the Royal Hawaii sure. Hotel, Breach Coma Hotel, that was like our home because um, you know we grew up in this thing. So we didn't know any better. Yeah, we, and we thought that that was normal. And only when we played with other kids in the neighborhood, we realized that yeah, that's kind of a different uh, upbringing than other kids in our yeah. neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and even then, I remember at times having to jump on stage if someone didn't make it. And you even do that now. <laughs> That, yeah, that, that never ends, oh. unfortunately. Um, 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 yeah, we, there was times when people didn't show up to work or whatever, and it was, hey, put on a lava lava, and it's your turn to go jump on stage or grab the microphone and sing the song. So Always ready in yeah. season and yes. out. out of season. I remember that your parents, mom and dad, wanted you to pursue your own careers. And so I remember, Afa, you went from being an all-star running back at Punahou, then the University of Hawaii, then a recording artist Rain. with your own group. Group Rain and uh, being the number one fire knife dancer, we all agree in Hawaii. Yes, 
But you're all back in the business yeah, yeah. and you didn't pursue your career. Yeah. What happened? I don't think there was ever an expectation or a pressure to yeah. be a part of the business. They encouraged us to pursue whatever our interests were, which I'm, I'm grateful for. You know, God's word says that a man uh, plans his, you know, cor uh, his course, but God plans our steps, right? Amen. So, um, or directs our path. Um, and so I think uh, irrelevant of what um, we had dreamed or hoped. Yeah. Um, and yes, mom and pop did uh, tell us to go do whatever it is you guys want to do. Um, I think God had a purpose for us to continue in mom and pop's legacy. The legacy, so, exactly. Absolutely. And so because I think we grew up in this business, um, because regardless if we had a college degree in business or journalism or whatever it is, um, you know, it was important for mom and pop for, to have us in the business to learn it from ground up. Um, so that when we, you know, sitting in this seat now as the president and vice president, um, you know, we're well equipped to do whatever it takes. That this is so much more than entertainers and entertaining. Yes. And over the years, the decades, we realized this is our ministry. This is what God assigned Amen. us to do because many of the people we work with will never come to a church. Come on. And that's okay. Well, the balance between being in the entertainment industry, ministry, and then also being a person of great faith, how do you balance that, especially as we've just gone through yeah. this COVID yeah. crisis? Well, well, there is no balance in our life without Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's important for us to be in God's word uh, without his word uh, keeping us in check. Uh, we could very easily, you know, be consumed by the business, um, you know, by the ambitions of us wanting to be at a certain level in our industry. Yeah. So, um, you know, without, without, it's, it's no secret that, that our foundation is, is God and his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And so we will continue to build on that foundation. Um, and I alluded to it earlier that there's, there's a purpose, we believe, uh, for us in this business, for Tihati Productions in our industry, um, and, and that's to glorify the Lord. And so, you know, it's how we conduct ourselves in, in the business. It's how we train, um, you know, our managers coming up and, and what we speak. That might be the only glimpse of Christ that people see. So it's important for us to, you know, not just talk about it, but live it, walk it, and be about it. In a practical sense, um, a big part of that balance are our spouses. Yes. So Albert and Nicole are every bit a part of our business partners, our life partners, our spiritual supporters, and um, they are proof of God's goodness to us. Yes. yes. Couldn't do it without them. You know, in this time of COVID and the pandemic, no one in the world has been unscathed by what's transpired. And I believe that with Tehati and like many companies, bang, everything just disappeared. Can you share a little bit about what transpired with Tihati through this COVID time yeah, and so your faith? The end of two, December 2019, uh, we celebrated 50 years, a big celebration of being 50 years of the existence of Tihati Productions. But right after that, three months later, right, in, uh, in March of 2020, uh, we went from 56 shows and just under 1,000 employees to absolutely zero. To zero, you know, and so <clears throat> when 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 that when that hit and, and and you know and it made headlines in the papers. Sure. Tihati production, let's go a thousand people. Sure, sure, yeah, you know, and, and fortunately we didn't have to um, terminate anyone, so we didn't fire nobody, right? We just we just we did the, the messaging we'll to here, our people we'll was back. like, hey, look, yeah. you know, we, there's no work to give, so we got to furlough everyone. Um, but we do believe that you know it's gonna it's gonna blow over, you know, this too shall pass. And a little bit of that in that in that in those early conversations with our people was. Probably, maybe, I'll admit some of my arrogance because I felt like um, in my experience and, and the experience that I've seen my parents go through, we've been through a lot of, you know, not necessarily pandemics, but, but a lot of crisis. A lot of challenges. So a lot of challenges. You know, and, and I felt like, well, oh, we saw all that and we weathered that and we're going to be all right, you know? But <laughs> as weeks <laughs> turns to months yeah. and months turn to more months, yeah. it was like, oh, man, Ooh. this is... This is worse than I could have ever imagined. We were literally at a point when we were about eight months into the pandemic with absolutely no income and no work to be seen on the horizon. Aside from the few gigs we got Aloha. to do it, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And a new hope with a good job. And you had families and mortgages yes. and you Absolutely. Were right. Yeah, all of those things, right. like like everybody else had. And they're not they employees to you folks. You no, always yeah. call them ohana. We yeah. tried to give you a check and you said, oh, please go give it to the yeah. babies, yeah, no, all the was, dancers. Yeah. Absolutely, it was for Your that. Your hearts were precious. You know, so so going through that uh, and, and hitting the, those moments was some serious conversations with the Lord. Like, yeah. um, and, and we had to come to a point where, um, you know, it was a 
real reality that we may need to close this down. You know, yes. so wow. our, our prayer turned into, um, you know, uh, if this is the end of Teati Productions, and if it is time for, for this chapter to close, then um, <clears throat> then take it, Lord, because it's yours anyway. So, um, you know, and help us weather this storm and, and despite of losing it all, <clears throat> be able to stand up and still say that we have hope in you and, yeah. and that we, we, we remain faithful in your plan, even if we don't understand it. So, um, you know, but by his grace and, and him carrying us through, that, through those moments, um, he brought us back. Amen. And, yeah. and, we, and, and he did. And, and it, it was against some insurmountable odds. Yeah. Um, and there was no way that we could have done it without, you know, his favor. Um, and his blessing and his provision in those moments and in those times. But we're grateful. We're grateful that, that he uh, has brought us through that time um, and that we are back in business and we're running again and we're busy. Um, <laughs> and, we, and, and, we, and we will never take for granted uh, you know, the on. amount of work or the wave of work that we, that we do have. So, May I ask great, a poignant uh, question as we come into a close? And Afa, thank you for sharing so honestly from yes. your heart. Was there a scripture verse that the both of you or either of you cling to in this storm yeah. that might help some of our ohana yeah I, I you know i see it in my mind that the 50th anniversary where we had this massive spectacular celebration the 51st year was me and my brother in my dad's old office big bay window sobbing over a plate lunch but the prayer was the same thank you lord oh. you're good no matter the circumstance and so clear as day months into it when we would sit there every day no gig to prepare for just stare at each other pray out the window I don't know, I don't know too, right? Clear as day, Psalm 4610. Mm -hmm. Be still, you two. Be still and know that I am God. There was nothing else to do, but in that time, God's goodness was refining our faith, building our faith mm -hmm. so, you know, we would be unshakable for the next, you know? And maybe our prayer became, instead of save us, Lord, rescue us, it became help us to struggle well mm -hmm. so you're glorified. And then in that stillness, the Lord brought to Afa's heart um, a project that we were going to do called Sunday Pese with Afatia. And he said, you know what, miss? Every Sunday, we no more gigs. No. I just going to release one worship song. In the uncertainty, we're going to worship. In the fear, we're going to worship. And so he's like, you can write the message. I, said, I can't write the message. <laughs> OK, I can sing the song. I can sing the song. <laughs> But we come through the other side going, oh, my heart is stronger in you, Lord, come because on. of how you disciplined us through this process. And so it became ours. Tihati then at that moment became ours and not our parents wow. because he took us to a point where you get it, right? It's not your parents, it's mine and you mine. So that's what he brought us to. Wow. Hallelujah. Psalm Hallelujah. 4610, when yeah. there's nothing else to do, just be still. You know, and, and it was actually my wife, Nicole, who works with us. Uh, he's our, she's our production manager for Oahu that came up with the idea, hey, you know, there's so much people hurting out there. You know, why don't you release something and yes. sing something every week that can yes. not encourage, uh, not just encourage our own Teati Ohana, but encourage people who are just following, yes, you know, sir. our social media handles. Mm -hmm. um, so we did, you know, and um, And I'm it grateful exploded. That the it number did. of people it did. following. It, it, yes. I was you know, one who was being ministered <laughs> to. I would be crying Sundays yeah. watching yes. you sing. Yes, so, so it, it, it did. And, you know, in most things, when, when you do serve the Lord, you, you do it with the intention of, of blessing others. But the blessing really came back to us. And it was we, we became um, refreshed each and every Sunday. Yes. Um, and it, talking about scripture, First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse mm. 16, right? Rejoice always, pray continually, yeah. and in all circumstances give thanks to God because that is his will in Christ Jesus. So that is, you know, the scripture that I stood on those many Sundays. When didn't feel like worshiping, you know, uh, didn't feel like praising because we were worried about, do, are we going to go bankrupt? <laughs> do I got to sell my house? You know, how, how are we going to survive this? Um, but, you know, we did it uh, in order to glorify him and hopefully inspire some others to know that regardless of the circumstances, God has a plan. And, and oh, yeah. his purpose is greater than anything that we could ever ask or imagine. So 
uh, yeah, that, that's that. I love that as a Polynesian Ooh. people, we can laugh and cry in the same breath. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> and we're <laughs> always connected back to eat, our and Jesus. <laughs> and then eat, and then momo. <laughs> but you know, it's always about uh, rising again, that the righteous man or woman might fall, we might fail, but we rise, rise again. And our Polynesian people continue to shine the aloha and the talofa, the ofa, to all the world. Amen. Amen. And amongst the tears, Thank you, both Afatia and Misty, for sharing your hearts and focus, focusing us back on the reason for the season Amen. in Jesus Christ, Amen. a testimony that I'm sure will touch thousands who watch this. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Mahalo. How do we say thank you in Samoan? <laughs> Getting to know your real faith with Jesus Christ. Do you have a last blessing for our viewing Ohana this Christmas season? Merry Christmas, Ohana, near and far. Jesus is the reason for the season, and we can have hope because He lives. Thank you, Afa and Misty. And thank you to Papali Tele Tihati Jack Thompson and Shah Ubua Allah Thompson for sharing your faith and love for Jesus and for pulling back the stage curtains to the entire Tihati Ohana. From our living Hope Ohana, we wish you Mele Kaliki Maka Ameka Hau Ole Maka Hiki Ho. Jesus